Russia's foreign ministry has called the humanitarian situation in eastern Ukraine appalling. Cities have been shelled by the military every day this week, and Marie Finoshna reports from devastated Lugansk. A thirsty and hungry city. Lugansk has been surviving without electricity or water for weeks now. A large number of the city's food enterprises stopped working a long time ago. Shops have closed. And all this amid an almost non-stop bombardment. We go to what used to be one of the biggest bread baking plants here to find it out of service. The last loaf of bread came out of this stove three weeks ago. On our way to Lugansk, we saw many wheat fields burned to the ground. Locals say it was set on fire when shells landed there. Many are concerned that the region will not get this year's harvest and will face a deficit during the winter months too. А я не знаю, кто, куда, чего стрелять, зачем стрелять. Я вообще уже ничего не знаю. Я говорю, уже бояться перестал просто-напросто. Попадут, попадут. While driving through the abandoned city, we come across a makeshift market. Sellers here are mainly from neighboring cities and villages, where the situation is not as dramatic as in Lugansk. Prices are through the roof. People come here to buy or exchange goods. Many are running out of cash as all the payments have been cut off and banks shut down. Fuses start forming early in the morning. While we talk, we hear the sounds of artillery fire. But locals seem to have learned how to live with this. When people learn that we are from Russia, they ask us about the humanitarian aid that our country is sending to eastern Ukraine. And it seems that finally there is some good news for these people. The first batch of trucks carrying humanitarian aid for the people of eastern Ukraine has finally left Russia. Food, water, medicine and generators should now reach those who have been living in heavily shelled areas and surviving on dwindling supplies for many days already. But it will not be enough. And other 250 vehicles still remain here on the border, waiting for their life-saving journey to start while people's struggle continues. Marie Fnoshna RT on the Russian-Ukrainian border.